I'm going to uh, put my dishwasher onto the water line and I had to buy a connection like this. This is known as a T-valve. Here's my sort of setup. This is my cold at the moment. It's got an isolator valve. Here's a tap coming down. And I know this is a cold one because I turned the hot water on and that one heated up. So, there you go. And I'm pretty sure that's 15 millimeters. If it's not, I'm in trouble. And there's what I'm gonna sort of place it with, sort of like that. My, my dishwasher valve will come in there. The inlet hose thing. A tap will go up there. My tap will screw on like that. There's a pipe coming up. And I've got an isolator valve. So, it's all good. I'm going to uh, put my dishwasher onto the water line. And I had to buy a connection like this. This is known as a T-valve. And it comes usually with the nuts screwed in. But when you, you look at it like that, it's male, male, male. The threads are on the outside. I probably might not even need these nuts. Because I make because I'm new, but... Yeah, so my pipe will go there, my tap will connect there, pipe tap, I'm connecting it to the tap line of the basin, and this is the connection of interest, and because hose valves are usually three quarters of an inch still, so dishwasher, washing machine valves are still usually three quarters of an inch. So there we go, it's hooking on. That's three quarters of an inch, that's 15 millimetres, that's 15 millimetres. When you're in the kitchen, you're usually talking about 15 millimetre and 22 millimetre. In a modern kitchen, three quarter for a hose, because they're still using the old fashioned measurement. Sometimes you might see half an inch in an older house, I would think, or an unusual fitting. This is what you're looking for, really, and probably for Basin taps, you're looking at 15mm. Maybe a bath tap, you're looking at 22. But really, I'm looking at 15mm here. And this is really what I want. It's called a T-valve. 15mm, 15mm. Three quarter for the hose, which is using old fashioned wording. So, as you can see, that three quarter is bigger than 15mm. And it's got an isolating valve, so that's good as well. And you can get these, it came with a red one as well, if, a, if you're connecting to, to a hot water line. I'm connecting it to cold water, so mine's is blue. You would just unscrew it there. To get this to my tap, and I wanted to have an isolating valve to the tap, because you can see at the moment, the pipe's coming up there. The tap doesn't have an isolation valve, it's just the, the dishwasher that will. So I had to add an extension and it was this, which is a bit of an unusual connection because of this. Usually they come male at both sides, they both look like that. So I needed a, a female there and it's female because of the threads on the inside and it's connected and it's pointing out. And so that will connect to my mail here. This one came with a plastic connector inside. Don't lose that. Look I have. Yeah, they'll come with some sort of connector there. This is a plastic one. Because you really need them for wee tiny leaks. Either that or an olive. Usually. Nowadays some of them come with this inbuilt. In fact, I mean, a lot of them do, I think. And that's better because uh, then you don't, you have no chance of losing all that. Uh, but there you go. So, I'll fit that on there. 15mm on both sides. That actually said half an inch on the, on the packaging I got, but it seems to be 15mm. It says 15mm on it. So you can check around to see, but it said half inch on the packaging, but 
seems to be 15 millimeters. And there you go, you connect, I'm connecting it. And that's me. I've got my pipe coming up there, my tap coming down there. And there I've got an isolation valve. I'll call it the plumber's union isolation valve because you need a screwdriver to turn it. I'm sure plumbers don't like this one because the public obviously know what that's for, you know. That's my thought on it. Three quarters inlet hose, 15 millimetres, 15 millimetres. Okay.